Hi, this is Ann Wilson, and you're on Backstage Access, where the real show begins. We may still have time. We might still get by. Every time. Gus Gressinger here with BackstageAccess.com. We are here with one of the greatest vocalists of all time and Rock Roll Hall of Famer, Ann Wilson of Heart. Ann is currently on hiatus from Heart and enjoying a solo career. She's currently getting ready for a short tour that starts next week at the Falls View Casino in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Hello. Hello, Ann. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. How are you? Great. This is uh, the last time we talked was actually five years ago to the day yesterday before the uh, Rock Roll Hall of Fame inductions. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Looking back on the inductions now, what would you take from most of it? Well, I think that it's um, it's it's uh, an honor to be to be um, inducted by by other members of pop culture. It's it's like getting an award. You know, it's like being noticed, being being honored. But I gotta say that the next day you wake up and you go back to work. You know, you just yeah. Maybe people will offer you a little bit more money, or maybe they'll <laughs> try and hire you a little bit sooner. But really, the reality is that you go back to work, and um, maybe you're queen for a night at the ceremony. You know, it's it's a cool thing. You guys obviously um, have a huge following in Niagara Falls, and and I just want to get your take on Niagara Falls in general. You know, the city. Have you actually explored it all? Have you got get out to the falls? Went out to the falls the first time. Usually we we go in there, we do a show, and and we um, we have a tight thing to get it back down across the border. We have like an appointment. Right. Go back down across the border. When you cross in. And you have all that gear and all those people, they just keep track of you, you know. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, maybe this time you have a little bit more time to actually go out and enjoy the surroundings. And, you know, not just Southern Ontario, the Western New York area as well, what it has to offer. Yeah, my, my husband and I are staying in a, we actually own our own bus. And so we're staying in an RV park on the Buffalo side. Okay. And I'm just going to go up to the show and then go back down and re rejoin him out in the country so yeah that's how we're going to do it and actually uh speaking about your rv and your travel I, I think um you know you get to really see the countryside and and what the the whole uh united states has to offer when you travel like in an rv and you know tell us about your experiences really connecting with like nature that way yeah it's it's a much better life to be touring that way we don't get into the bubble of staying in hotels and limos and all that kind of stuff we actually drive through the country and see it and then when the show's over we go out in the woods and camp and sleep and um, be together and then we the next day we go to the next show you know so it's been a lot more it's a good life and it's been a lot more um, beautiful since we started doing that Tell us about your solo band. Um, who do you have in your band? And, um, you know, tell us about how you actually, you know, pick the musicians. Um, Craig Bartok is playing guitar. He plays guitar. Long time heart, of course. And um, Andy Stoller is from Seattle is playing bass. Okay. Daniel Walker from Seattle is playing keyboards. And, um, I met Andy in Seattle when I was doing a benefit with Mike McCready for Crohn's Colitis Foundation, and um, he was just a great guy and a great player, so when I was looking for a bass player, I called him, and he turned me on to Daniel Walker, okay. who's just a fantastic young guy, he's, just, he's so brainy, he's so talented, you know, um, and then Denny Fongheiser is playing drums, Denny played drums with heart way back when for a couple of years and uh back in the 90s and okay. um, i never forgot him he was so great such a good percussionist and really passionate player so i called him that's the band 
very excited to see you guys uh, next week at the Falls View, and and obviously doing the these shows. You're still working on um, your new record, Songs for the Living, and I want to know the reasoning behind uh, doing a record like this, which is dedicated to uh, recently past musicians, and also want to see if it's going to be all covers or are you going to sprinkle some new tracks in. The record is um, all covers of these these artists that have recently departed, okay. but it's not just a tribute record of me redoing their hits. It's me digging into their their work and choosing songs I think were the most beautiful expressions of their souls. So that's that's really what it is. I wanted to honor them and thank them for what they brought while they were here. And you're working with a uh, legendary heart producer, Mike Flicker, actually, who actually produced right. the first five records. So did was it um, uh, purposely that you wanted to reach out to him to be a part of this, or just organically he kind of was just around, and it, did it just happen that, he, you know, he was, uh, you know, kind of involved in a way that you wanted to get him more involved? I, I reached out to him to do this, because I I um, had been in touch with him for a couple of years recently, and we were really hitting it off. So okay. I thought, how fun would it be to work out, to work together again? And um, and so together we've been able to wrangle down these songs, and we've done sessions with Jeff Beck and with uh, Warren Haynes and with Ben Mink for for this record. Right. And when can uh, the fans expect the, the record to be released? Last I heard, they were talking about the end of June or the first week of July. Okay, so it's coming out this summer. Can we expect any tracks uh, that you're going to be doing live from the record? Yeah, we're going to do a couple, but I can't do them all. Because right. people have their phones up in the air and they just record everything and it <laughs> ends up on YouTube. So, so I have to, I'm kind of keeping a lid on most of it, but I'm... Yeah, we're going to do a couple. Okay. And speaking about Jeff Beck, uh, how excited are you to be going out to somewhere with two most amazing musicians in both Paul Rogers and Jeff Beck? Completely excited. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just going to be cool. It's going to be really cool. I need Bill with two of the best singers in classic rock history and one of the greatest guitar players ever shapes to be a really can't-miss show of the summer, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to it, and I think that there's a possibility of, you know, us getting up on stage together, which um, we haven't confirmed that, but that's in the air, you know, so we'll see what happens with that. And I was just going to my next question about how Release has been a longtime guitar player for Paul Rogers now. Any chance of you actually maybe doing a song with him, come, have him come out during your set to uh, maybe do a heart track or something? I really don't know if Howard's going to be on the tour. He, he, um, the, um, I heard that Paul Rogers is using Deborah Bonham's band. Oh, okay. He's he's not using the Bad Company band. He's using her band. So, and she's going to do like a half hour acoustic before the whole thing starts. So, um, I'm not sure what's what's going to happen with Howie. Whether he's going to be out or not. Okay. Well, hopefully he is, and if he is, I hope to yeah. hope to see you. Howard's great. Yeah, a fantastic uh, person and an obviously musician. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about the future of Heart. I don't know if you have any comments or if you want to say anything regarding that. Oh yeah, um, it's important that people know that we're not having any kind of big family feud or anything. Uh, I think a lot of those headlines from last year were way too tabloidy and. Uh, what is happening is that is that Nancy and I are having a whole lot of fun being independent, and we we played together for 45 years, and we need some time away from each other. We need some time to stretch out on our own. Um, so there will not be a heart reunion this year, um, and that's all I know for right now. And wrapping up, uh, talk about when fans come out to see an Ann Wilson show, either in the next few weeks or this summer. What can they expect? They can expect to see maybe three or four heart songs reimagined, um, some new songs I've written, 
and some really exciting songs that are tributes and um they're not just covers they're actually really reworked and cool and exciting covers so it's a fun show and it's visually really cool great band a lot of fun people are liking it well we're actually very excited to see you again uh, next week at the Falls View, and hopefully everybody comes out and stops and, and sees the show, not just next week, but also, like I said, this summer when you're on tour with both Paul Rogers and Jeff Beck. We wish you nothing but the most success in the tour and your new record. Thank you. Thanks very much. No time!